Alaska is big. The biggest state of the US and it's not even close. Texas, the second biggest state, can fit inside of Alaska two and a half times. Alas, Alaska is not nearly as big as most maps make it look. This is the map you learned in school. This is the map that you use for GPS. This is the map that most people have in their homes. But this map is lying to you. This is the Mercator projection, a map meant for nautical navigation. Basically, it's meant to help you sail across the ocean and actually get where you meant to go. If you follow a straight line on the Mercator projection, you'll reach your destination even if that line isn't actually straight. See, the Earth is a globe. Hopefully you knew that by now. And a globe cannot be displayed as a flat rectangle without some distortion. What the Mercator projection does is create the aforementioned straight lines, which aren't straight at all. They're very, very bendy. These lines are great for navigation, but really, really bad when it comes to showing the true size and location of places. Let's go back to Alaska. This website called thetruesize.com lets you compare how a place looks on the Mercator projection to how it actually looks in real life. You'll notice on the Mercator projection, Alaska looks like it's longer than the contiguous US, but if you drag Alaska down to where the rest of the US is, you'll notice that it shrinks. For an even greater example, let's take a look at Greenland. Greenland looks massive, about the same size as the entire African continent. But if you drag Greenland down, you'll notice that it's only about the size of the east coast of the United States. And it gets even worse if you bring it down to where Africa actually is. Africa is massive. If you took one country from Africa, let's say the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and put it where Greenland is, it would look gigantic. So imagine what all of Africa would look like if it has the same boost that Greenland does. See, the Mercator projection shrinks everything close to the equator and inflates everything closer to the poles, which isn't really fair for countries in Africa and South America. See, the reason why the UK is in the center of the map is because they saw themselves as the center of civilization. Western European countries are really the ones that used and popularized the Mercator projection. But it totally doesn't hurt that it overstates our geographical significance while at the same time understating the significance of the entire continents that we colonize brutally, the effects of which are still widely felt by the entire global south to this day. Also disregarding the fact that we still primarily use a nautical navigation map as our main understanding of our planet, despite the fact that nautical navigation means jack to most everyday people. But yeah. If you want to start thinking more critically about the world we live in and what it looks like, I recommend checking out thetruesize.com in the description below and playing around with the sizes of different countries and states. I also recommend looking at different projections of the world. I personally really like the orthograph projection as it's the most accurate one. It divides the world into 96 triangles that all come together to help display a more true to life version of planet Earth. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Like I said in the Minions video, I really love cultural discussions and going forward, this is gonna be a much bigger part of the channel. Thank you for bearing with me as I figure this out and thank you so much for watching.